2020 Honda Civic Si, courtesy, because there have been plenty of changes actually for the 2020 Si, and quite honestly, in my opinion, this car is an instant classic. If you try to find a Civic Si on Auto Trader right now, they are still selling for excellent prices, especially that 96 to 2001 range. They are selling for crazy amounts of money right now. Instant classics, like I said. The Civic Si is just a great, fun car to drive overall, and it's still less expensive than cars like the Golf GTI and the Subaru WRX. So it's got a great price point as well. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and jump right into it. And let's start with pricing. And so essentially for the 2020 Civic Si, you will have a coupe version and a sedan version. However, both versions are going to start at the same price coming in at an even $25,000. But regardless of setup that you go with, the power plant on the 2020 Si will be the same. Powering this beast is going to be a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, putting out 205 horsepower at 5,700 RPM, 192 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 2,100 to 5,000 RPM. Power, of course, being sent to the front wheels through a six speed manual transmission. And by the way, there is a little bit of revised transmission gearing for 2020 Honda claims, which they say will actually improve acceleration, which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here. But all in all, when it comes to the zero to 60 time, it's gonna come in at approximately 6.3 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 26 in the city, 36 on the highway for a fun car. That is excellent, you guys. And by the way, regular unleaded fuel is required. However, premium unleaded fuel is recommended. And so, but before we get into any kind of accelerations here, first I wanna mention there are some drivers modes of course you have normal that's what the Civic Si defaults to but there is a sport button directly behind the shifter there and if you press that it is going to adjust the throttle sensitivity I can definitely feel at the start in addition to that it did illuminate all of my gauges here in a bright red hue so that is yet another thing it's going to adjust also though it will adjust the adaptive damping system and I'll get a little more into that when I touch on suspension but that is a big one for the Si actually but nonetheless I think we have a straightaway here let's go ahead and do a quick little acceleration and Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2020 Civic Si here up to speed. Here we go. Oh yeah. Good pull. Good pull. Wow. Kind of reminds me of a uh, RSX Type S back in the day. This thing is fun, man. This is definitely a quite a bit of pull. A little bit of slipping, but then again, I told you guys it is wet out. It actually snowed last night here in Pennsylvania, so roads are definitely wet. It was a little bit slippery there, but once I got into second gear, this thing was gripping hard and an instant acceleration, so quite fun there. So other thing I wanted to mention since we do have a six-speed, and by the way, you guys probably know the Civic Si only comes in a six-speed manual transmission. For this car, though, that is a good thing because the six-speed manual transmission and just about all Hondas are absolutely amazing. They are very nice clutch feel, very easy to find the grab points in this thing. So it is overall a very fun car to drive and definitely a very nice car to learn how to drive manual on as well if this is gonna be your first manual. So definitely don't worry about that if there's any manual you want to learn how to drive on quite honestly in my opinion at least it would be a honda manual because i actually learned how to drive manual on a honda s2000 so definitely an easy car to learn how to drive manual on but nonetheless now that we have touched on acceleration a little bit braking is equally important and so up front you will find 12.3 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.1 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it has been perfectly fine for me even in wet conditions today so certainly no issues there touching on suspension and handling a little bit. This perhaps is my favorite part about the Civic Si, quite honestly. Up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, a multi-link rear suspension with front and rear stabilizer bars. And like I was mentioning to you guys, that adaptive damping system. And so what that adaptive damping system actually is, it gives you the best of both worlds, really. It actually monitors the road conditions and your driving style, not only tightening up the suspension around heavy cornering, but also making the ride a little bit smoother because it's gonna monitor the road conditions. So if it senses a little bumpy or of a road, it will soak up some of those bumps, giving you a little smoother ride as well. So like I said, best of both worlds, and that is why I love adaptive damping systems on any manufacturer, any car out there. It's always for 
for the best. But overall, as far as ride quality, I would say it is quite comfortable actually, especially for the car that this actually is. I will say I just got done reviewing the new 2020 Toyota GR Supra. This definitely has a better ride quality than that, I will say that. So definitely soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely. Steering feel is great, certainly as expected for a car like the Civic Si. Certainly not too loose of a steering feel. It's not the heaviest in the world, but I would say it's just right actually. Cabin noise is fine as well. I've never had any issues in any of my previous Civics. I've owned like four or five Civics in my lifetime actually, so it is quite quiet and I used to drive a ton, ton of miles in my Civic, so they lasted forever, like 230,000 miles before I would trade them in. And lastly, touching on visibility, this is a sedan, although I'm sure the coupe would be just as good, but I can see perfectly fine out the back. Certainly no issues there. And I did want to also mention when it comes to visibility, when you turn on your right turn signal, it is also going to give you a camera on the infotainment screen, kind of letting you know what is to the right of you as well. So even better visibility when you're making a right turn. So I always like that little feature that Honda does. So well done Honda for that. But that is about it for the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Honda Civic Si. All right, you guys, here she is, the 2020 Honda Civic Si. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there actually are some pretty substantial changes for the 2020 model year. So let's go ahead and start up front here. Up front, you're gonna find a revised front bumper for 2020. Also standard LED headlights. That is a new feature actually for the 2020 Civic Si that they are standard. So standard LED headlights, also LED daytime running lights. And of course they will also come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you. So you never have to worry about that. Also in typical SI fashion, that SI badging found in that front grille. And you got some large circular fog lights towards the bottom as well. And you guys can probably see that center mounted intercooler right in front of the bumper there as well, since this is a turbocharged engine. So it's kind of cool being able to see that too, but let's go ahead now and make our way to the side. You will find dark chrome window surrounds, at least on the top portion. The bottom portion is actually gonna be that matte black finish, but let's now go ahead and take a look at the side mirrors. They are actually heated body colored power adjustable side mirrors. That is the standard setup that is. No integrated turn signals, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Taking a look at the wheel setup, also a new design for 2020 new matte black 18 inch alloy wheels double five spoke design with all season tires which quite frankly i am thankful for today seeing as it's about 30 eight degrees out and kind of rainy so all season tires are definitely where it's at for today at least but let's go ahead and make our way to the back shark fin antenna up top in typical honda fashion you will find a body colored rear spoiler it definitely looks good back there and that of course is going to come standard on all civic si's whether it be the coupe or the sedan when it comes to the taillights there is that c-shaped design they are led actually as well certainly look right at home back there just to the side of them si badging of course and here's the best part you guys center mounted exhaust setup with a chrome finish so i think you guys all know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but now since we all round back, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. That is probably the way I would choose to do it. There's actually also a button on the driver's side door as well, just in front of the cup holder there. But either way, you can get the trunk open. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 14.7 cubic feet. If that was not enough space for you, of course, you will find a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. And of course, you got your standard cargo area light back there as well. Then make our way up to the rear legroom. Rear legroom is actually going to differ, of course, based on the sedan versus the coupe version. Coupe is going to give you 35.9 inches, so it's actually a decent amount for a 2 plus 2 seater, but the sedan is going to come in at 37.4 inches. So for reference, I'm an even 6 feet tall. This is how much space I have back there, so definitely plenty of space for me. 37.4 inches, you shouldn't have any issues, but rear center armrest with cup holders for those rear passengers as well. 
well. And if anybody was curious if there is rear ventilation, there is not. Quite honestly, it is kind of a smaller car. It is a compact car, so you really don't need it. So anyways, make your way up to the front seats. Manually adjustable front seats will come standard. They are SI specific seats with badging. That SI badging is found in the top portion of the seating there. As far as the bolstering goes, they are bolstered excellent. I love how Honda does this with their fun cars like the Civic Type R especially. Civic Type R probably has the best bolstered seats of any other car out there from the factory right now. Civic SI is pretty close. It's definitely have some very nice bolstered seats. I love the red accents to tie in with the red SI badging of course as well. So seat comfort is quite on point on the Civic SI so certainly no issues for me. I was also surprised there are heated seats that come standard on the Civic SI as well and those buttons are located just in front of the shifter so I had them on for a little bit seeing as it's 36 degrees out right now so that was definitely nice taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped with red stitching across the board so quite a nice steering wheel setup to the SI wouldn't have minded a little thicker grips but that's just my own personal preference now let's go ahead and take a look at the key here. Let's get to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key. It is Honda logo on the one side. When you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again, that button to pop the rear hatch. Of course, it is all keyless entry, so all I'm going to do is simply leave the key in my pocket, put my foot on the brake and clutch. There is a bright red push button start, perhaps paying homage to that old Honda S2000 that kind of originated the whole push button start thing really for all manufacturers out there. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and clutch and press that engine start button there. It's open that once started up, it is all a full digital display basically. You got your engine temp on the left, your fuel information on your right. The digital display can be found front and center, really giving you just about everything. A large digital speedometer, tachometer, of course, is kind of the front and center setup there. And there are steering wheel mounted controls on the left side there. If you press the info button, you can scroll through a ton of different things, like for instance, boost pressure. That's pretty cool. Also, G4 statistics. There's looks like a lap timer, fuel information when you need your next oil change, Bluetooth information. There's honestly a ton of different things you could check out up there. So that's definitely nice as well. And of course, it's going to tell you your outside temperature, trip A, trip B, time of the day. You know, all the basic stuff along with that but let's go ahead and now and make our way to overall interior quality here first thing i noticed when i got into the civic si is the aluminum foot pedals always love seeing aluminum foot pedals in fun cars power moonroof also going to come standard on the coupe and sedan so that is definitely a plus as well dual zoom climate control also coming standard and overall i do like the way it's laid out it's pretty basic pretty direct and to the point you have some silver trim accenting above the passenger side glove box that ties onto the doors some red trim kind of above of the infotainment screen it ties together just above the side air vent here on the driver's side so it all looks pretty good to be honest one of the cool things though that honda always does is the uh the setup for your phone for android auto apple carplay i'll get to that in a little bit but when you plug your usb cable into the civic si it actually has a separate cubby area just beneath all of it where you can kind of store all the wires so they're out of sight out of mind so if you're kind of one of those ocd people that uh don't like wires cluttering up everything like myself that is definitely definitely a plus so I love that Honda does that they did that in quite a few of their cars actually but just behind that you have your electronic parking brake you have a couple cup holders as well along with an armrest which is at a perfect level for shifting through the six-speed manual so that's definitely a plus as well sometimes you don't have an armrest with six-speed manual so I do want to mention that and you have a little cubby area and of course a little storage area just underneath of that armrest as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display here whether it be the coupe or the sedan setup you will find a seven inch high resolution color touchscreen display front and center will come standard with bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay like i was mentioning therefore if you have a smartphone simply hook it up via usb cable to the civic si and you have free navigation found up on that display screen as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs there's a couple other compatible apps you could check out up there as well and to go along with that as expected you can check out your radio settings up on this screen and by the way honda usually does this very well with their fun cars when it comes to the sound system you will find a 10 speaker sound system with a subwoofer and 450 watts and that is well above average for the class so let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one
bass is actually pretty ridiculous. It's actually a very nice bass set, but you can tell there's a subwoofer in the SI. Clarity is just fine. Plenty of loudness with 450 watts with the size of the Civic SI. It's really almost overkill. You have plenty of loudness there, so definitely a very nice sound system for the Civic SI, if I'm being quite honest there. But last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display is when you put the Civic SI in reverse, and by the way, to put the Civic SI in reverse, all you're going to want to do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right. When you do that, you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so I first wanted to mention here, there is some new safety for the 2020 Civic Si. Of course, front side, side curtain airbags, you have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats if you need them in the back seats. Rear child door locks are obviously gonna come with the sedan, not the coupe, because of course there's no rear doors in the coupe, obviously. <laughs> Tire pressure monitoring system comes standard, but some of the new standard safety comes with Honda Sensing, at least when it comes to the Si. So Honda Sensing for this one is going to include collision mitigation braking system, road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, automatic high beams, and Honda Lane Watch. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching.